What's up, gang? Gang, it's your boy Video First Take, and welcome to First Take Music. Right now, as I told y'all, I was gonna be starting a new series talking about things about the music world that up and coming artists gotta recognize. So I just wanna be making videos about things I feel like artists shouldn't be doing, or things I feel that artists should do that'll help them to progress up in their music career, and like some good tips on what they should do. I deal a lot with music, and I'm working with like artists every day and it's a lot of mistakes that I see these artists making so I want to make this video just to show these artists like you know what mistakes to make what mistakes not to make you know just music overall so I'm gonna be dropping videos like this I'm gonna still be doing the video reactions but every now and then y'all gonna get some videos like this y'all let me know what y'all think about it so anyway this video right here it's five things I thought about. You know what I mean? Since I'm an engineer and I engineer people music and I record up in my studio and shit like that, I thought about five things people shouldn't do up in the studio. And I'm going to break them down to y'all. Gonna be showing y'all a little bit of what I mean. So let's dive straight into that. Number, Number one. one. A lot of y'all rappers, y'all know who y'all is. I'll come up in this fucking studio. Y'all wanna rap like Bone Crusher and DMX and then wanna sound like Lil Baby and NBA Youngboy. That shit just do not work. You just gotta have that sound already. You can't be in the studio rapping like, hey, I wanna, uh, 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 fuck this bitch. Fuck this. You know what I mean? And they're trying to come out sounding like Lil Baby. You can't do that. I'm not a fucking musician. A magician. A magician. Mag Am I saying that shit right, magician? Y'all know what the fuck I mean. I can't wave with wand over the fucking track and be like, damn, make this nigga sound like young boy. You feel me? You gotta have that voice already, you know what I mean? Number motherfucking two. Y'all come in here, sit around, write and shit. You wanna write your whole verses, you wanna write the whole song, you wanna go through YouTube. Looking through beats. Oh, let me pick this beat. Ah, oh, nah, I don't like that beat. Let me pick this beat. Oh, nah, I like I don't like that beat. So you know what the fuck a nigga like me doing? I'm just sitting back relaxing, you know? Cause why y'all doing that? The time still tick, nigga. The time don't start when you fucking walk in the booth and start rapping. The time start when your ass get into my studio. You feel me? Once you in this studio, your time on the clock, so have your shit ready. If you ain't good or quick with the shit, and you can't get up in here and write some quick shit that sound good, you need to be writing your shit at home. That's what you're supposed to be doing. Number, Number three. 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 Y'all get up in this studio. Y'all want to come up in here with like fucking four, five motherfuckers with y'all and shit. Half of the niggas ain't even doing shit. Half of the niggas just standing around. Half of the niggas just on their phone, the other people trying to get some Snapchat videos, trying to, I'm in the stool, I'm in the stool, I'm with, I'm with the guys and shit like that. You don't need none of them people around, they just distractions, you feel me? The studio is not a, a hangout spot, it's a place where we do motherfucking business at, you know what I mean? Where we make music, where we just make shit happen, you know what I mean? That's what a fucking studio is, nigga. It's not a fucking playhouse. One nigga came up in here. One day with his homie and shit like that, cause he ain't had no fucking cable. Nigga, you don't take your ass home. Fuck out of here, nigga. I'm gonna start charging the cover fee. If you wanna come sit around in this bitch, that's five dollars per person. If you're not record, stop bringing too many people with y'all when y'all record. That's pretty much pointless. It's a distraction. So that's another thing. Number number four. Oh, oh, oh. Another thing that these rappers do is when they book a studio time is they don't never want to show the fuck up on time. If you book an appointment at 4 o'clock, your session should start at 4 o'clock. Ain't no way in hell you should be making it there at 4.15, 4.30. That's managed from your time gone. And it's, and it's not my fault because we had a set time. You got to start making it on your schedule, you know what I mean? And you got to start being serious about that shit. That's how you manage time. 15 minutes of your time could have been like going towards like what? Mixing or extra time recording. You know what I mean? This shit you got to think about. So manage your time and make it useful. Number five. It's the icing on the fucking cake right here that I see a lot of rappers doing. You gotta invest your money and you gotta invest it in you, you know what I mean? Stop being cheap to yourself, you feel me? You wanna come in here, wanna short the engineer, who huh, only got $20 today, who huh, only got $25 today, is that cool? But 
at the same time, you round this bitch with a big ass bag of weed, a fucking rack of money all on fucking Facebook, Instagram, stunning and shit. But you too broke to pay for studio time. You too broke to invest into yourself. That shit's so stupid, man. You ready to go buy a $25 Trey 5 rather than spend $20 on an hour for a studio session that can potentially make you some money, you know what I mean? You could come in here. I done seen people get like almost three tracks done within like fucking an hour. They know exactly what they want. They know what they're going to say. They got their lyrics together. They come in here. They ain't got nobody with them. They ain't got no distractions. They just straight fucking to it. You know what I mean? They come on time. They come all of that. And what they do, get in there, do they shit, in and out. You know what I mean? Give them be the fast and fucking people. A lot of y'all gotta, you know, reevaluate y'all stuff. Y'all gotta stop wasting time, you feel me? But, you know, that's the little five little things I see that y'all shouldn't be doing up in the studio. A lot of y'all people do. But hopefully this video was helpful. Hopefully this video can help y'all understand reasons why not to do be doing this shit. But if it don't, oh well. Anyway, it's your boy video first take. If you like this video or want more videos like this, drop that shit in the comment section below. Hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. It's your boy video first take. Like I said, I'm out. I be smoking on that purple shit. Zoned up in the mix. Just a nigga counting racks with these hoes, they off the shits. Yeah, it's about to be a party. Tell a friend, ring a fifth. Smoking on that 93. Rolling guess about the zip. And they think I'm pimp walking, cause I walk in with a limp. And I see your bitch stand. I can tell she like my drip. And my diamonds fully loaded, cause my neck just like my 